honestly, some things are very difficult for me to understand. You mean you have a husband who chooses to stay at home? Why you go around doing minor jobs? Sir, I am not complaining. I come from a background where it is wrong to sit and wait. That is why I need to rise and do something. I've been listening to my husband all these years and it's not helping us. So I decided to come and do this course while seriously pushed to the wall. No. Please do have this. It will go in a long way for you. Uh, sir. I prefer to have the money that I worked for. I've been here all day, but no one allowed me to work. Why then are you giving me money? And you waited all day for me. Please, have, have it. So that's because I want to do the job so that I can get paid. Why are you paying me? See, um, myself, I drop out of school. And as God may have it, I started this manually. God will not allow me to let you come here and start doing this. See, I can allow you to come here and do some calculations for me, okay? Sir, your story is very, very touching. It's okay. Okay, let me, let me see you off. I'm sorry, I won't join you in your car. I, I can go on my own. You can go on your own? Okay. Thanks. See you next time. Lisa, you are still thinking about that money, Miss Roadman, and it beats me. Why can't you get to know the power you possess as a woman and stop belittling yourself? She won't understand, please. I will not understand what exactly. Do you know, I actually went back there to apologize to him. But he won't even let me pass through his gate. And you are here. So okay. Lock that man out of your life and move on. Please. I confirmed what you were saying. How do you mean? I mean, what did you confirm? Does this woman... He's been doing everything possible to bring him to his bed. But the woman has been resisting him. And this woman is a married woman, right? Very well, she is. <laughs> I think the woman has been frustrating him so much that he has to transfer the frustration on me. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Lisa, if I understand you very well, you are angry with this said woman instead of the he goat who has refused to leave the woman alone, right? Not at all. The woman is not the problem here. My biggest problem is he promised to give me money for my holidays in Holland. Um, he's not even picking my calls. I don't know what to do. I don't even know how to go about it. Lisa, you know what? Since you have decided not to be reasonable, just go to his house and continue making a fool of yourself. What do you mean by that? Are you insulting me or what? You can call it whatever you like, okay? I am done advising an adult on what to do. Please. <sighs> Only God knows how many times he has eaten today. 
I don't want to believe I made a mistake by accepting his marriage proposal in the first place and getting married to him. Eh? A man is supposed to be the breadwinner of the house. And now it's the other way around. I don't even know whether I married a man or a woman. looking at me that way. Is it when Olibube has died that you rise up as her father to do something? Why can't you do something now? I named her Olibube when she was born. You changed her name to Grace. You know, to solve all these problems that she's having now, can you force her to go back to the name that has the blessing of all the spirits in our family? Is it possible? Nay. I don't understand you. You don't understand what? Are you saying that all these setbacks that she is facing is as a result of the name she changed? It is a possibility. Well, I am not saying it authoritatively that a change of name is the reason she is experiencing setbacks. But it is a possibility. The problem most of you have, most of you people, the problem you have is that you do not even know the power in a name. That is why you change your names just anyhow. You do not understand the power in a name. Our daughter Olivia is now the one fending for her family. We have a problem with that. She has the upbringing, and she has all it takes to comfortably fend for her family. It shouldn't be a problem for you. You didn't even bother to ask the kind of job she is doing. Whatever job she is doing is legitimate. She has not deviated from the training she received as a child. If she has deviated, I would have felt it. Our daughter Olebube is now doing many her jobs to feed her family. And I know you can't turn things around for them. Why are you not doing anything? What I am going to tell you now is something I want you to hold on to. There could be something the gods are trying to teach them. And as the man, and as the one who is married to the priest, the one who lives here with the priest, I expect you to know that it is not right for people to begin to challenge the gods. Are you not going to be the one who is going to stand in the way of the gods? Allow them to do that which they want to do. <laughs> Oh, 
Good morning, sir. Good morning, Nathan. Come in. Thank you, sir. So you said I should come here immediately. I hope there is no problem. There will be a problem if you don't oblige my request. Uh, please, sir. Temper justice with mercy. All I'm asking for is more time. I will pull through, please. <laughs> not I'm, I, I am not a patient man, no. Sir, please, I'm begging you in the name of God, please. Nathan, I want to ask you for a small favor. Which is? Well, you see, in Africa, it's a common practice. In fact, it is a common practice among men. And um, the trend is growing. But, you know, men who have mastered it, Men who have mastered this ideology and understood it live to their ripe, good, old age. Mm -hmm. Sir, I don't know what you're talking about exactly. Well, Nathan, you see, I... I am going to fix you up. I, I really want to fix you up. I, I have this burning urge to, to, to make you a man, a real man, you know? A big boy. So you won't even remember that once in your life you were this low. Down there, low. You know, and you don't even have to do anything for me. Just a little favor. Like, um, allow me to... No, just allow me to enjoy that woman in your house. That's all. <laughs> sleep with my wife. Nathan, that is the only condition. It's just what you will allow me and then I'll, I'll do what I have promised, you see. Um, if you allow me to enjoy that beautiful woman in your house, then I will make you the caretaker of all the houses I have on your street. You know I have a lot of houses on your street. There's so many. And beyond that, I am going to give you a business. A business that will boost your life. A business that will change your life. A business that will make you a man. A real man. Nathan. I, I know how you feel. Don't reply me now. Go home. Think about it. Hmm? And send words back to me. I will make you rich. Can you finish it? It's not possible. Use what you have. Left with the man's wife, one of his wives, the youngest of them all. He was actually the one who brought her into my room and instructed her to take care of me. And he warned me not to ruin our friendship by not sleeping with her. And you did it. My brother, you will not blame me. 
because that girl categorically told me that if I failed to bank her very well, that she would tell her husband that I did not touch him. She would tell her husband that I did not touch her. And this man will feel I never trusted him. He may even not pick my cause. And at this point in my life, I need that man. What sort of culture is that? And the people with this culture are in this same Nigeria with us. Exactly. See, what I'm telling you is that this girl practically devoured me. She said that if her husband finds out that she did not do well, that he will be mad at her. <laughs> but this man should know I'm not from that town where men hand over their wives to their men or visitors. I can't see myself sharing grace, my beautiful wife, with another man. What will become of me if I should succumb to this? Even grace will never agree to this. Why didn't he ask for something else? I remember that dream. Was it actually the dream I had at play? He offered me a Ghana must go bag filled to the brim with money and told me emphatically that the money will be mine if I obliged to his request. It was revealed to me Grace is that thing she was talking about in the dream. He wants my beautiful wife. He wants my beautiful wife. But he will never have her. Indeed, poverty is a disease. My poor state gave him the right to insult me by asking to sleep with Grace, my wife. Never. I can't give in to such dread. Baby, don't worry about this. Allow me to wallow in my shame and pity alone. My love, talk to me. What is bothering you? Care to share? Is my condition not enough reason for me to be bothered? I see you don't want to talk about it. I know you will talk to me later. When you are ready, I'll be waiting. Excuse me. How do I relate this to Grace? Barrister, I already pleaded with him to give me more time to back out. Since I lost my job with the construction company, life has never been the same with me and my family. Please. Mr. Nathan, we have the court order already. <laughs> he went to court without telling us. You have violated your tenancy agreement and the oral agreement you both had. He asked me to come lock this house because you have refused to pack out. Please, Barrister, don't do this to me. You, you are a man like me. You should understand me. I swear, if I have this money, I will pay. I lost my job. Things are hard. All I'm begging for is more time to pack out. I will pack out, but give me more time, please. Mr. Nathan, I understand. Things are very hard for everybody now. 
on my own. I will give you until the end of the week. Please, live on your own. Stand a chance of being ejected forcefully. Thank you. Why are all these landlords mean? Why can't they just understand and give me more time? My love, are you awake? I never wanted to disturb you. You don't look happy. What is it? Talk to me. I'm fine. Baby, talk to me. What's wrong? sent his lawyer to come and lock our house. Hmm? What? They have a court order to throw us out. How is that even possible? They didn't serve us any paper asking us to appear before any court. But the tenancy agreement we signed with the former landlord gives the new landlord the right to come and throw us out and take over his property anytime he wants. Hey. I know why Honorable Alfred is doing all this. Because I did not agree to what he said. What do you mean? What did he say? He wants to sleep with you. What? That man is evil. He said I should allow him make love to you and everything will be fine. He even promised to give me more money once I allow him sleep with you. of a useless man is this? How can a man say this to another man over his wife? Because my husband has a little setback, Honorable Alfred thinks he can insult Nathan by asking for his own wife? Why are some people so rude in nature? You left without saying a word, and here you are looking worried. What is it? So, because of the little setback that you have, that fool thinks he can insult you by making this demand. My setback is not little. We are between the devil and the deep blue sea. Indeed, poverty is a cause. You know, if you had listened to me and opened your own company long before you were laid off as a CEO, it wouldn't affect you this much. There is time for everything. You are saying the right thing at the wrong time. And I won't go into this argument with you. His ego has always been his problem. Why can't men just listen to their wives? Walking out on me is not a good thing and mine. Woman, I am not walking out on you. 
I am just trying to stop the abomination that you have started. I want to go to Mbalo and give specific instruction on what they are going to do. Nay, what do you call abomination? People who go to Mbarogugu go there with live animals. And your workers will kill those animals while you make prayers for those people. As Nathan, my son-in-law, has refused to come, I have gotten a ram for him. Kill the ram, make prayers for him. That act of you going to buy a ram for a man for me to pray in Ogubu, for that same man, when the man has not given his consent, is the abomination I speak of. And I'm not going to be part of it. I am going to Mbalo Ogubu now to go and ask them to untie that animal for it to wander off to wherever it wants to go. How can you do that in I? I bought that ram 70,000 naira. I am not interested in how much you spent buying the animal. What I am saying is that I am not going to be part of the abomination. If you value the money you spent so much, come with me to Mbalogu so that when they untie the animal, you can take it. But there is no way I will be part of the abomination of praying to Ogugu to help a man who has not summoned the courage to ask Ogugu to help him. Hi, what kind of problem is this? How can you be married to a priest of central deity, yet that same deity cannot help your child? So, you have been calling my line, disturbing my line. And I have allowed you into my house, but you're not saying anything. What do you want? Where did I go wrong? But I didn't say you went wrong anywhere. I mean, you're living your lifestyle the way you like, doing your things the way you like, poking your mouth into what does not consign you. Lisa, I got tired. I got tired of all that. And I decided that you should leave. Do you have a problem with that? But I'm sorry, my love. I actually realized how wrong I was. That's why I'm here to apologize. I'm truly sorry from the bottom of my heart. Stop. I have forgiven you. Need I say it again and again? But I must warn you that nothing will ever come between us again. Why will you say that? You mean you want to throw everything we've shared because of this little misunderstanding? Lisa, I've booked a room for you in Olive Guest House. Go and pick your key. You can now leave. You mean to say I won't be spending a night in this house. You have lost that privilege. Leave. I'm sorry, my... I said leave. Thank you. Okay. You can go. Okay. Leave. Put it up around. Good night.
Why is this man so mean? I was only playing with him that day. Why would he allow it to get to him like this? I am not going to give up so fast. He was so good with me while it lasted. Stop, stop, stop. I'm not ready to listen to all your terry tales. I'm not ready to. I have told you what you must do to, to solve your problem. But well, you said you wouldn't do it. So let me do it. Boys, out! I will, I will. Bring everything out! I will, I will, I will. Bring the wife out! Bring. I will, I will, sir. Say it, let me hear. You can have my wife. Madam, I didn't hear it. Say it again. Sir, I said you can have my wife. <laughs> now you're talking. Uh -uh. Are you not a man? What is there in having your wife? Now you're talking. Yeah, but please, sir. Promise me no one will hear about this. When it comes to keeping secret, I am an expert. Have you heard any story about me in this town? Come on. Eh? Just um, fix things up, right? Make all the arrangements, then call me. Okay? I will, sir. All right. Uh, you can leave. Leave as long as you want. Boys! Boys, you can you can leave him. Leave them, leave them, leave them. Leave them. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go! Lisa, if I should understand it, the man refused you from sleeping in his house. Rather, he made a reservation for you in a hotel. My question is, why didn't you come home? Why father insult us by sleeping in the same room he paid for? I was hoping he would change his mind and come much later to the hotel. Honorable Alfred is not always like this. This level of anger has not been seen before. <laughs> Please, I'm beginning to think that someone is behind it. How do you mean by someone is behind it? Please, you are gainfully employed. 
and you do not know much about men. If you know what we girls do to ourselves because of men, you will cry blood. And what you are thinking now is that there is a girl out there who is responsible for the problem you are having with that he goat. To not in any way address Honorable Alfred as a he goat. To not. That precious and lovable man is thinkingly rich and can buy every member of your family. <laughs> you know you just insulted me. But I will not allow that to bother me. All I'm telling you though is that nobody is using anything on that man. The he goat has gotten tired of you and discarded you. <laughs> you think so? I know so. I must make him pay for it. How do you mean? I mean, what do you intend to do? I'll be very direct with you on this. I want him dead. Do you even know who we are talking about here? Honorable Halfred may appear Western to you, but he's also rooted in the ancient ways. He's not just one of those men we can just turn off easily. Mm. Do you really know how much is prepared for this? <laughs> the money is not my problem. The man is my problem. How do you mean? You're not going to do this for me. No, listen to me. I promise you I'm not going to say this to anyone. But you have to find a way to reconcile with this man. Because this path you're taking is going to destroy you. So you mean the man was here in person? Yes, he came with some talks. That man is so mean. He still came here to embarrass us after everything. Baby, let's call it spade a spade. This has gone beyond what we can handle by mere wishful thinking. How do you mean? I was left with no option than to concur to his request. What exactly did you concur to? That... That you go down with him and put an end to all these embarrassments. What? Nata? Are you all right? Are you out of your mind? How can you come into such an agreement with a man? My love, please. I'm begging you. Why are you begging me? Sweetheart, please. This is the only way we can put an end to all this embarrassment. Nathan, what are you even talking about? What are you saying? You of all people want me to go sleep with a man who is not my husband? You want me to sleep with a man that I hardly even know just because you feel that he is the one who is going to bring you out of your ordeal? Is that it? Help a man that is down and desperately in need. Can't you see we are sinking? Please, my love. I thought you said you love me. Baby, I love you with everything in me and you know it. Then why are you throwing me into the waiting arms of that he goat? Your own wife! Because that's the only way to put an end to this insult, shame and embarrassment. Please, do this for us. I will appreciate it for the rest of our lives, please. 
Biko, I extracted a gentleman's agreement from him that no one will hear about this. I do not know what you mean by gentleman. I do not know what promise that you extracted from him, but what I'm telling you is that I cannot do this. I cannot sleep with a man that is not my husband. I can't do this. I can't. I don't know what you people planned, all right? Listen, my love, I can do every other thing for you because you are my husband and I love you so much. But sleeping with a man that I don't know, I, no way, no, I would not do this. I can't do it. I would rather die than do it. Never. I can't, I can't, I can't. Goodness. Mr. Nathan, Sir. you still have not fulfilled your side of the bargain. You're pushing me to the wall, Nathan. Honorable, please. I need more time to convince my wife on that. It's not easy for her to do such. I've been trying to convince her, but she's finding it difficult. Give me more time to pull this through, please. Fine, so how long are we looking at? Let's say one month. Huh? One day. One month. A whole one month. No. It's not possible now, Natalie. It's not possible. I'm getting restless. One month. Do you know what one month is? 31 days. No. Two weeks. That's all. Two weeks. Whatever you have to do, do it within this period. Only two weeks. You know what you're asking us to do? To some people, it's easy. But my wife is finding it difficult to concur. What's difficult about that? But don't you just tell me, what's difficult about that? To get naked, spread her legs, close her eyes and allow me to slide in, enjoy myself for 30 minutes or less. What's, what's difficult about that? No, 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 think about it. With what is at stake, I'm telling you. Let me ask you that. Will you swear that you are the only man that has been hammering that woman? That woman with, with eyes like that. And you're the only one that has been hammering her since you got married to her. Will you swear? Please, Honorable, let's not go towards that direction, please. Just give me more time to convince my wife. Let's not go to that, <laughs> that side of conversation. Why are you dodging the question? Why? You want to draw in emotional blackmail into this? Eh? Baba boy. Anyway, two weeks. You have just two weeks. Else. Please, ah. Uh. I will, I, will, I will convince her, please. No problem, two weeks I've heard you, sir. I, I will. Two weeks? Yes, sir. You heard me? Yes, sir. Only two weeks. Else? doing here? I can't remember giving you my address. Can I please come in? I have something confidential to tell you. She may 
But I can't still. I still want to know what you're doing here and how you found me. I'm a man of many sides, remember? I believe that's why you hired me to bring down a man as rooted as Honorable Alfred. Osford, I never hired you to do anything. I am not here for any kind of trouble. I have decided to do the job, so when am I getting paid? Honestly, Osford, I am no longer interested. I mean, you already scared me by badging in on me today. Who knows what else you know about me? Listen, I need money for something. That's why I remembered the offer you made me. Just pay me the money and Honorable is down. I'm sorry, Osford. I, I changed my mind. Hey, babe. What are you doing with Osford? You know him? I just called his name. A name that is fake. That should tell you that I know him. What are you doing with a character like Osford? Well, I wanted him to do something for me. I changed my mind. Hello? You wanted him to do what exactly? I wanted him to do what concerns me. Come to think of it, why are you sounding as if you know him too well? <laughs> Osford, to put it mildly, is a criminal wanted by the SARS before they were at Lord. They have arrested him many times. I am not happy that you are bringing a character like that into our home. Well, I didn't bring him into our home. Hmm. He just shocked me with his appearance. I, I never gave him an address. See? That should tell you something. Lisa, you really need to be careful. I have like 300,000 Naira that my friends contributed for me on our WhatsApp alumni group. I'm going to give the entire money to you so you can start any business of your choice. You know you're very good with bakery. You can start making homemade bread, then both of us will hook it together. What sort of insult is this? I'm talking about making good money. You are here talking about going to hawk. You know, yeah? why are you downgrading your husband like this? Would you rather prefer to sleep away your precious time? Too many businesses that have become global brands today started small like this, trust me. Listen, I'm your husband here. So I feel I'm the only one who should be bothered about what you do with your body. What exactly are you driving at? Listen, Grace. Sleep with this man and save us this embarrassment, okay? This man has promised not to only forget his rent, but also introduce me into his importation business. It's just one night stand. Why are you finding it difficult to do? Nathan, you are my husband. Ordinarily, I am supposed to respect you. But you see this particular request of yours. I can never do it. I can't.
grace. Grace. Grace record. Listen, my love. You have to sleep with our new landlord and save us from this impending disaster. That man has given us two weeks ultimatum for you to sleep with him or we leave his compound. Nathan, apart from the fact that I am educated enough to know what it means to be a wife, I am also the daughter of the priest of Ogumwezu. It is a taboo and a crime for me to stand naked before another man. Talk more of even allowing the man enjoy the woman in me. Don't bring Ogumu into this. Those things don't work anymore. They don't work anymore. See, Ezenwa and Yogugu is real. The sacredness that comes with its presence won't even let me stand naked before a man who is not my husband. See, I don't want to have this discussion again. Please, I beg you. Why are you frustrating me? Yet you claim you love me. Are you going to doubt my love for you because of this? Yes. Because love is all about sacrifice. If you truly love me, as you always say, prove it. This is the time to prove it. A woman offered you two million naira just to sleep with you. You declined. Now, this man is asking you for just one night stand. And we will be kissing poverty goodbye. You still refused. Now, where is the love? Do you love my condition? Do you love this situation? Why can't you help me? Nothing. Are you the one speaking or something else is speaking through you? I am the one speaking. It's like you value your Gugu more than your husband. Why don't you tell your Gugu to give us the money? Yes, if you value your Gugu more than me, tell your Gugu to give us the money we need. What nonsense is this? This is not one night. Sleep with him and let's say this. Okay, okay. How can he even consider that I start sleeping around? Is he now accusing me of being the reason of his poverty? It is so crystal clear that his stubbornness is what landed us in this mess. What is all this? Eh? What's this? to eat. I said I'm not eating. Why are you doing this? What has come over you? I never knew you are this wicked. The question should be, why are you doing this? You want me to die in pain. Why are you finding it difficult to solve my problem with something that rightfully belongs to me? Nathan, I am not yours in the context that you're presenting it. I am a woman Stop. who... Stop! I married you in full. I paid your bride price. That means you are my wife, my property. You belong to me, not your father's altar. So tell me why are you finding it difficult to solve my problem with my own property. Do you even listen to yourself sometimes when you speak? Yes. I know what I'm saying. Give that man what he wants and end this. <laughs>
Yeah. Who is it? I know why I'm here. You sounded as if you would die if I don't show up. What is it? Thank you very much, Etim, for coming. You are indeed a good man. Yes. I know the wickedness you showed to me was because of your job. Naturally, you won't be hostile to a lady like me in that manner. It appears to me as if you are whipping up sentiments. Lisa, I'm not a man moved by sentiments. You know what, Etim? The few moments I spent with Honorable Alfred was the best moment of my life. At some point, I messed up. I ruined everything. At the end of the day, I lost him. And I lost everything. Why am I here? Did you actually invited me here to help you get back to his life? If that is easy, it won't work. Because my boss has advanced to another level. What do you mean he has advanced to another level? He's still my boyfriend, you know? From the way things are going, my boss, Honorable Alfred, will soon become a king. A king? How is that possible? Was his father a king? His father was not a king. But kingship rotates in their town. So, the elders settled for him. They're just waiting for him to say yes, and he will be the king. Well, even if they make him a king, he will still remain my boyfriend. Because I know too well he's not going to affect me in any way. Yes. Lisa, can you stop daydreaming? I don't understand. Why are you always daydreaming? How can you be his girlfriend when he becomes the king? Is it possible? I was even expecting you to capitalize on the opinion provided and settle for me. Settle for you? Come on, Lisa, why are you being serious? I don't understand. Why are you being so serious? Settle for you? If you understand what I'm saying, my boss, Honorable Alfred, has all the money in the world, but he has no stamina. You know what I'm saying? Can you swear on anything that he has ever satisfied you in bed? Hmm? Lisa, just say yes to me. Settle for me and you will experience the kind of excitement you have never experienced in your life. We'll take it hard, 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 hard. Well, let him. Let me assume I didn't hear all what you've said to me. You heard what I said, and I said it. Are you ready to settle for me?
Why are you blocking me? Please let me go to work. Your work will be of no use by tomorrow because the landlord is coming to throw us out tomorrow. <laughs> and what am I supposed to do with that? For the past one week, you have refused to respond to my greetings or even talk to me. Sleep with this man and save us from this embarrassing situation. And I have said it time and time and over again, I cannot. All right, fine. You don't want to sleep with that man. Consider Mama P. At least she's your fellow woman. You can sleep with her. Let's raise more money from there. <sighs> Nathan, I can't. I will not let you lead me to sin. It is not sin. It is called sacrifice. Use what you have and solve our family problem. Save us from this impending danger. Where will you sleep tomorrow? Where will you sleep tomorrow? The man is coming to throw us out. Maybe with police or army. Where does this happen? Huh? A man asking his own wife to go and sleep with another man to help them solve their family problems. Hey! It will never be reported that I did such a thing. God forbid. Sir, please, please, sir, just, I, please, sir, listen, I, I have done everything within my powers to convince my wife on this, but she wouldn't listen. No problem, sir, you can throw us out. Maybe when you eject us out of this house, my wife will be left with no option than to concur. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. I will do it. This is the zenith of all sacrifices. And I have made up my mind to make the sacrifice for the man I love. Thank you very much, my love. 
I will never forget this sacrifice. Thank you. The deity of my fathers. I have been pushed to the wall. There is no way else I can save my marriage if not to do this. You know me too well. Under normal circumstances, I would never have thought about this. Talk more of doing it. Please, my fathers, forgive me in advance. Heal my home. When I overcome this temptation, I will still come back to you for purification. I'm sorry. From the depth of my heart, I am sorry. I know he will use protection. There is no way that son of a cow will enter another man's wife unprotected. If he fulfills his promise, I will send my wife to him again to get more and more. and said, 
I will be marketing his seven containers. Baby gay again. Seven containers of kitchen equipment we are made. How did you give it to him? Because he did not even wait for you to get here before making such mouth-watering promise. I'm sure you, you, you finished him. Thank you very much. I'm so happy. Thank you very, very much. I love you more. Thanks for this sacrifice. I will never forget in a hurry. Come on. You're simply pathetic. Baby, what have I done wrong? Are we not supposed to be happy? Seven containers. Seven containers. saying thanks for the love and care. I shouldn't have asked for anything more than you. Honey, I just spoke to you. My love, there is none. Even if there is, she has automatically lost her relevance in my house. And that's why I'm asking you to marry me. What? Matter? You're proposing to another woman right in my presence. My love, she's even here. She's standing right before me. No need to hide it, of course. Hello? Hello? Baby? Hello? Did you see what you've cost? Huh? You saw me on the phone talking. The least you should have done is to wait for me to finish before showing your ugly face. Nathan, me, ugly. Yes. You became ugly the day you opened your legs for our landlord. Nonsense. Nathan, Nathan, so you were with a woman and I was calling you all day, you refused to pick my call. Why would I pick your call? Or give me one reason why I should pick your call. No, tell me, why should I pick your call? To me, you don't exist anymore. Nathan, you are now witch haunting me because you feel I slept with the landlord. That is why I have lost my relevance in this house, which was exactly what you were telling your mistress on phone. Yes. You ceased to be my wife the moment you opened your legs for that son of a cow. As far as I'm concerned, you are dead and gone. I have even buried you in my head. Nathan, is this what you're saying to me? To my face? Come on, you started this. You've done yours. Let me do mine. But you were the one pushing me to do it. I said no, you wouldn't let me be. You should have stood your ground and said no. You came into that request because you are loose. Is this what you're saying now? Yes. You were the one begging and begging me. You acted as if you were going to die if I did not do it. You should have stood your ground. After all, you are the one parading yourself as the daughter of a sacred chief priest whose body is meant to be for only her husband. As far as I'm concerned, you are dead and gone. You've lost me. No this and no peace. Nonsense.
this is an emotional blackmail. Nathan, who was in tears, begging me on his knees to go sleep with the landlord, is the one saying all this? <sighs> Man. I have been the one at the center of this whole relationship right from the onset. Oh. Honestly, Lady May, I will start avoiding you if you tell me you have begun to mingle with this Sears. And what do you mean by mingling with all these Sears? I only told you what was revealed about your husband, and I think you should pay serious attention to it. My father is a priest of a deity, remember? And I can't remember mentioning your father's name. I was only talking about your husband, Nathan. There is nothing about my husband to discuss. If there was anything, my father wouldn't even let me marry him in the first place. Grace, Grace. You have been the one doing everything possible to make sure this relationship works. I mean, if not for you, Nathan wouldn't have gotten the job that he has today. How did you get this? Is that what your seer told you? You're the one who made him to reconcile with his chi. And it was after that that breakthrough came for him. Do you mean to tell me you don't know about this? You mean your seer told you all these things? <sighs> Okay, I'm sorry to say this, but your husband is a very lazy man. He believes it must be a white collar job or nothing. And come to think of it, you have been the one carrying him, both in spirits and physical. And trust me when I say, if you leave him now, he's going to crash totally. seen you. You've not been in your element since you arrived. And now you're about to leave. And you still haven't told me what the problem is. Please, what's going on? Since the last time you spoke to me, yeah. I have not been able to manage to find rest. I was raised by a priest and groomed not to believe in all the seers. Everything you said the said seer told you a fact, and I mean, it's bothering me. I feel you, my dear. But sincerely speaking, it has never been in my plan to get you all worked up. But I just feel you should do more as the woman who made the man. What do you mean, the woman who made the man? Nathan was already made before I met him. Excuse me. An engineer without a job. An engineer who was barely feeding from hand to mouth until you came and exposed him to what was holding him down. And then he became who he is. You are telling me he was, he has. How? Okay, so what do you want me to do? <sighs> the forces of your father made him who he feels he is today. And he should not forget that. You think he has forgotten? Oh, yes. I should be the one asking you that. Hasn't he forgotten? Is there anything in him that suggests that he still remembers that if not for the sacrifice you made for him, he will still be confused now? I'm asking you. After 
after the appeasement and sacrifices, his dream job was released to him. And everything that stopped working for him immediately started flowing again. The construction company that he went to for interview immediately after service, who didn't call him up, called him up at once and made him the original manager. how we got married and he started cruising in money I remember telling him repeatedly to go and pay homage now that things had turned for the better for him they waited and waited and waited for him to come for Thanksgiving, but he did not heed my advice. They took the job from him. Things stopped and he crashed back to square one. <laughs> this is the same Nathan that is threatening me to marry a new girl. All because he feels he is in money now. Something about your voice. Your voice can melt hearts. No. My world is yours already, okay? So just open up yours and this love will flow like Costa River. I will love you. Leave my husband alone. Do you understand? He is married with children. If you want to die, accept his marriage proposal and you will have yourself to blame. What is wrong with you? I this for me. Hello, baby. Baby. Hello. What is the meaning of this madness? Nathan, do not dare me. I made you and I had the power to unmake you. Don't push me and you now I'm not bluffing. So it has gotten to the point where you threaten me in my own house? The fact that I am quiet does not mean that you should take my quietness for cowardice. What is wrong with you? Okay, now you have now felt the pain. Thank God you are now feeling the same pain I felt when you slept with that man. What point exactly are you making? What's all this now, Nathan? Have you forgotten you were the one who was begging and begging me on your knees that I should go sleep with Honorable Alfred, who is now a Zakalugo of ancient Akama Kingdom? Yes, because I was down. I lost everything and I was desperately in need. Any man in that state will say anything to bounce back. It is your duty as a wife material to say, No, honey, I will not sleep with another man because you are down. But no, you went ahead and slept with him. That shows that you are a stupid and useless woman. And the next time you try this, eh, I swear, won't get rapid. Get out of this place, leave my temper. I said, get out. Get out of this place. Leave, 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 leave away, son. You slept with another man and you expect me to, to, to forgive you. I could go and get so it's over. Nonsense. Lisa, are you being serious with me right now? Are you saying you're not going to see him now that he's a king? He will likes. Let him be the king of all the kings. In fact, let him be the king of all the kings in this country. I will not go. Hmm? Listen to me, baby girl. Alfred is no longer a part of my history. That is where you get it all wrong. He is a part of your history because at some point in your life, you were dying for this man. <laughs> dying, you said. That was then, baby girl. That was then. Since he showed me that he's a beast that can never forgive, I will not go. You just said it. That was then. He was just an ordinary man then. Right now, he's transformed into a Zakaluko. And I feel you should go and meet him and receive royal blessing. Sorry to disappoint you, baby girl. 
You didn't even bother to ask me how I got to know that he's a king. <laughs> well, I ran into him where we were called for a meeting mm -hmm. to meet with the landlord of the new complex where I want to open my spa. Mm -hmm. You told me. That's not it all. When we got there for the meeting, I realized that the landlord is a king and the king is Honorable Alfred, who is now is a Kalugu. Then when I approached him after the meeting, I reminded him of you. Mm -hmm. And he said I should tell you that you should come to the palace and see him. Really? Sorry to disappoint you. I've said it now and I'm saying it again. I will not go. I don't want to see him. Daughter of the priest of Ogugu. Why are you crying? What is the matter? Talk to me. Please, I am about to drown. My husband wants to marry another wife. Why? accepted to sleep with you and from the day I allowed you to enjoy the woman in me I, I was buried in his heart and he has decided to move on what? <sighs> since then I have never known a moment of peace in my home Why didn't you tell him the truth? He has not given me the opportunity for us to have a reasonable conversation. I never wanted to make that move in the first place. He begged me to do it. Now he's using it against me. <laughs> Grace, 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 I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry I brought this upon you. It was my inordinate desire to sleep with you that brought this rift in your marriage. I am sorry. I will do something about this. Okay? Now stop crying. Please stop. It's okay.
Nathan seems to have forgotten all the sacrifices I made for him. Why has he decided to torture me this way? Immediately he married me, he vehemently stood against me being an independent woman. Because he secured an employment in Omega Constructions Limited. I had wanted to work and earn a salary as a career woman, but he declined. He stated categorically that he doesn't want his wife to work, but to sit at home and take care of his home front as a full-time housewife. Now I am full of regrets. I should have gone out of my way to be gainfully employed. He is now threatening me about taking another wife. Have a nice place here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope we're not forgetting anything. <gasps> my luggage. Oh, the BC, Morgan. Bring my wife's bag. Thank you. Listen, this is my new wife. Handle with care. V V I P. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I love it. Lanta. <laughs> Let's go to our room. Okay, baby. Lanta, who is she? Baby. Is she talking about me? Not even know. You mean you did not tell her? I did. Oh. Let's go. Forget about this distraction. <laughs> Going to with the luggage, Madam. Okay, so I'm going to come inside. Say this one, a VVIP. I should handle the key. Will you take this back to where you brought it from before I do something regrettable? Madam, I beg. My God, I can't take that back for the sake of. Will you just keep quiet and listen to me? Take this box out of here, Madam. For the sake of my job, I can't say this one, a VVIP. I don't know the meaning of that word. I beg. I beg. I just take this back inside. Madam. Take this box and get out now. Madam, I beg. I beg. Out. Madam, will you come back? Come back. Here. How dare you disobey my permission? The prisoner of this house. What's your problem? Yeah, baby. Take that bag to my room. Okay, sir. You want your problem? Talk to me now. What's your problem? Sorry for the distraction. You know, she's frustrated and mentally unstable, so 
of my now. I see that. <laughs> I see the heart. I have come to stay, co wifey. I remember I warned you before to stay miles away from my husband. Do not blame me for whatever happens to you. Such gods. How dare you threaten me? You signed your death warrant the moment you opened your legs for my husband, father of my children, to penetrate. Baby, are you going to stand here and watch this haggard woman threaten my life for nothing? Huh? Listen, you don't give distractions like this attention. I told you she's mentally unstable. And you, you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot do anything. You can't. Let's go. You don't just rely on what you have been told. I want you to investigate everything that you have been told. Listen, I need you to establish the truth. That is why I hired you. Because I want to act on the truth. Yes. Baby. Wow. Welcome to my event, our bedroom. Feel oh. free. Baby. Oh. You like it? I love it. <laughs> oh, baby. Baby, your room is so beautiful. Thank you. Oh. No, they cry. This is not temptation. Yeah? You see, you see, you see that woman. You are far better than that woman. I'm telling you the truth. Just relax. Very soon, everything will be all right. You hear, madam? Madam, I'm sorry. Yet. Great women into this world. Eh? Because in the name the only problem where we men get. Eh? Imagine this mad woman now. Get man come they follow a person husband. They men grimo. He still can't reach this house. He say, say the, the man wife they here. This woman still get man waka go inside. Now God now go punish this kind of woman. I bet make I go back to my office then. Try. You never mentioned this guy to me. The only time you mention him to me is that you both are getting married. But that is the best news that I could share. Mm -hmm. I mean, I shouldn't bother you with the information of my relationship with him. He proposed finally and we are getting married. That is the best time to tell people about him. Hey! 
please, honestly, you are a slow poison. Slow poison, oh, that's what you are. Nobody knew when you were seeing a man, let alone getting married. Shouldn't we be talking about you? You should equally give this guy a chance. Who? Say yes to him. Who? Olu. <laughs> Olu. Olu. Has been married before now. Before now. He was married. But not anymore. Okay? <laughs> and I think this is the best time for me to tell you this. It is possible your destiny is tied to marrying married men. What? What? Is, is that an insult? I, wait, are you trying to insult me? Darling, I am not insulting you. Rather, I am stating a fact. All your life, you have only dated married men. You told me that yourself. And the only one coming for you right now was married before. He's coming to marry you. Are you not going to give him a chance? I don't know why you're saying all of this. But I won't listen to you. Listen, Lisa. If you miss this Olu guy, it will be very difficult for you to find another man. See, if you had no problem dating married men, you should not have any problem marrying one of them. And actually threatened. <laughs> and he was going to bring in another wife, and he went out of his way, obviously, to carry out his threats. Looked at me, I bought to I bought it. He called me frustrated. Me.
food is served. Listen, if you must remain in this house, stop cooking for me. My love, what is wrong in serving my husband and the father of my children something to eat? I am no longer your husband because you betrayed what we share. I have told you repeatedly that I did not do anything. Why are you doing this to an innocent woman? Stop all these tales and stop questioning my life. It's rainy, baby. Nata, first, you brought in a strange woman into our matrimonial home. I was quiet. Now again, you're about to eat food prepared by that same strange woman. What are you going to tell your children when they return home from school? I will tell them that their mother slept with a total stranger. And for that reason, this marriage is over. Yes. Add the whole salt and pepper in the kitchen to it. Baby, what is wrong? Don't you like the food? Test it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with the food. Listen, I don't joke with my stomach. If you can't cook like Grace, stop cooking for me, please. Baby, but there's nothing wrong with this food. Even if the food is bad, you have to say it here. There's no one here except us. What sort of nonsense is this? Baby! A baby now. Baby! I wasted time to make this food for you! You wasted time on rubbish. There's nothing wrong with this food, baby! Yes. Sit. So, what happened again? Oh, yes, sir. My husband has finally carried out his threats. I know what he has done. I am monitoring situations closely. I don't know exactly what you're doing, but he has brought in a new wife. Your husband is a fool, a big fool, to have left someone with your kind of physical and spiritual beauty. For that thing, I, I understand he brought into your house. He still believes I slept with you, Ezaka Loko. My... Biggest betrayal, pain, and hurt is coming from the man I helped. It's only natural, my dear. The ones that we trust with our everything are usually the ones that betray us. But trust me once again, God is not asleep. Yeah. My baby. So you drive. Sorry, no, you drive. You drive. You drive. Baby! See, I want to drive. No, I want you to drive, baby. I want you to drive. Come on. See, I want to drive. No, baby! I want you to drive. See, I want to drive. 
I want to drive this. Mm. You sure you want to drive this? Yes. You know what? I don't want to go out again. So, catch me if you can. Catch me. Come on. Make it more sense. <laughs> catch me. <laughs> I want to try, yeah. I want to try. You know, you know, you know, you know, pass like this. Not you, when, when, when do you see the good thing for me? I want, I want, I want. Even, even more, I want to drive. This one, I drew love. Grace, I opened the supermarket for you. Your Majesty! What? Grace, you're a good woman. And your kind is rare to find. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. I, I, I lack words to express how grateful I am. Thank you. Grace, you're a woman who is not easily carried away by fantasies. Oh, permit me to say that Nathan does not know the wife he has in you. Your Majesty, thank you, thank you. I will forever be indebted to you. Thank you. Grace, uh, my secretary will take you to the supermarket and she will also hand over the keys to you. <laughs> Igwe! May your days be long. Thank you. Thank you, Anyeze. Thank you. Say, say, Grace. You changed me. You made me a better man. My encounter with you reshaped me. That I am a king today is all because of you. You walked into my life and reshaped me. I may not be able to, to repay all that I owe you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are nothing without the Almighty God. Ibu chuku ibu gimadwe. Ibu chuku ibu gimadwe. Oye ne me ma ibu chuku e. Ibu chibe. Ibu chuku ibu gimadwe. Hey hey. Ibu chuku ibu gimadwe. I thought I'll go. Oh, yeah. Why is she this excited? Did you see the smile? Eh? Why was she dancing like that? She's happy all of a sudden. Maybe her father's gods have inflicted madness on her. The impossible. Did you notice the keys and the way she was flinging them? Eh? Baby, can you imagine? Grace is not yet back to this house. Why are you talking about Grace all of a sudden? Baby, 
I told you I overheard her telling the gate man that she now owns a supermarket. And from all indications, it could be true. Your husband just came back from work with an open arms waiting for you to give him a warm welcome, kiss him or peg him, and you are here talking about grace and supermarkets. Is this right? Baby, baby, I want my own supermarket. Excuse me, did I hear you right? Yes, baby. I deserve it. I want a supermarket, something very, very big. Not all these mini supermarkets. I had a terrible day of loading my containers. I need to freshen up 